Hi, I'm Maddie Garner. And I'm Becca Jones. Welcome to HEB ISD News. Euless Junior High gave a big thanks to the Euless Police Department for making EJH their first stop with their new community services trailer. The Euless PD handed out over 200 ice cream snacks to the children, along with letting them play video games and brought out, the, brought out beanbag toss boards for them to enjoy. Join the City of Bedford and the Bedford Animal Shelter for the City Expo and Pet Fair. Learn about city departments while enjoying a free lunch while supplies last and find a new forever friend. Adoptions from the Bedford Animal Shelter will include free microchip. This event will be Saturday, April 1st from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Bedford Boys Ranch. Now before we continue on, let's jump over to Hisu Yang with sports. Howdy y'all, my name is Hisu Yang and this is sports. The NBA just got more interesting. During the height of All-Star Weekend, the New Orleans Pelicans traded three players and two draft picks for DeMarcus Cousins of the Sacramento Kings. The Pelicans sent Buddy Heald, Tyreek Evans, and Langston Galloway, along with a 2017 first-round draft pick and a 2017 second-round draft pick for this future Hall of Famer. Anthony Davis and DeMarcus Cousins will provide some great noise for the near future. Now on to high school basketball. The Trinity boys basketball team will play Denton Geyer on Tuesday, February 21st at 7.30 at Flowermont Marcus. Good luck to the Trojans on their road game against the Wildcats. Tease up. All right, that's all we have for today with sports. Um, my name is Hee Young. Uh, this report has been a touchdown. Thank you, Hee A 17-year-old U.S. High Trinity High School transgender transgender wrestler who is transitioning from female to male won a girls regional championship in Allen over the weekend after a female opponent forfeited the match. Mac Beggs, a junior who is undefeated this season, accomplished victory Saturday after the match for the 110-pound Class 6A Region 2 championship. Good luck to, to Mark Be Mac Beggs in state and tease up. If you have any interest about outer space, be sure to stop by the newly opened Astronomy Club at Mr. Murphy's room, S216. Be there at first meeting and bring your friends along and be able to share your ideas and learn from others. Now we want to stop by a special guest for the weather. I'm Batman! And uh, this is the weather. Uh, Monday in Gotham, it's going to be windy. All right. Uh, Tuesday is also going to be windy. Wednesday is cloudy, Thursday is stormy, I hate storms, and uh, Friday is also stormy, Saturday is going to be cloudy, and Sunday is going to be cloudy. All right, I'm Batman, and back to you in the studio. Where is she? Joker! Thank you, Batman. This week, Trinity High School students are taking final exams of the second trimester. They will be having testing days on Thursday and Friday as it's a half day for the school. Next week, it'll be the start of the last and third trimester. Good luck to all the students taking the test. Tease up! You are invited to Parent University, a series of free parenting workshops for parents of children aged 3 to 5, hosted by HEB ISD and presented by the Parenting Center. Each session is on a Thursday this spring. Time for all sessions is 5.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. All sessions are available at West Hearst Elementary, 501 Precinct Line Road, Hearst. Now we will go over to Megan Elizabeth in the Entertainment Corner. Hello, I'm Megan and welcome to the Entertainment Corner. For our first story, many little girls dream of one day becoming a Disney princess and Lindsay Lohan is working on making that dream come true. Lohan has often said that Ariel is her dream role and since Disney has been in early talks of recreating the film, Lohan posted a pic of her side by side with the animated Ariel adding Disney saying that she will sing again as a Little Mermaid. It is also known that Hamilton genius Lin-Manuel Miranda will be taking part in this film's production. After his help in the movie Moana, fans are definitely on board with this idea. How they would feel about Lohan playing Princess Ariel, however, could be debated. The elusive seventh season of the hit show American Horror Story is leaving breadcrumbs of hints to the contents of the season. Since the show changes completely with each season, fans have very little idea as to what to expect. What we do know is that it will start earlier than the season before it, around Labor Day. We know that Evan Peters and Sarah Paulson are the new leads of the, uh, of the show, but even they don't know who or what they're playing. We have no word yet on whether any of the remaining cast will be on board, but the usuals can be expected. 
If you didn't know, ex-Spice Girl Mel B has been shaking up things on Broadway, performing in the classic show Chicago. I had the privilege of seeing the show in person and she was astonishing. But this Sunday, Mel said goodbye to Broadway with a bang and giving some love to the Spice Girls by performing the girls group's famous song, Wannabe, for her last performance. There's been a lot of talks of doing a Spice Girl reunion, but we don't know much as of right now. What we do know is that Mel definitely rocked as Roxy. That's all we have for entertainment this week. This is Megan signing off for the last time. Thank you, Megan. NASA's Juno mission to Jupiter, which has been in orbit around the gas giant since July 4, 2016, will remain in its current 53-day orbit for the remainder of the mission. This will allow Juno to accomplish its science goals while avoiding the risk of a previously planned engine firing that would have reduced the spacecraft's orbital period to 14 days. Juno has successfully orbited Jupiter four times since arriving at the giant planet, with the most recent orbit completed on February 2nd. Its next close flyby of Jupiter will be March 27th. A short film from Buinger CTE Academy student Dylan Manfold will be shown at the South by Southwest Film Festival. The silent paracosm was selected to be displayed at a 450 seat theater in Austin, Texas in March of 2017. Congratulations to Dylan and we wish him the best of luck in the event in March. That's all we have for this week. Thank you all for watching. And like always, don't forget to be awesome.